what's up guys welcome back to another video um today as you see we got us a little package oh yeah you guys see what it says champion helmets bubba so i've been wanting to get a new helmet for a minute and um i was actually kind of trying to figure out which one i wanted it was between this and the AGV, no, a lie. Uh, it wasn't the AGV. It was the a, uh, what was it? It was the Shoei X14 helmet. Was the helmet I was trying to choose from, and I ended up going with this one. We're gonna give this one a shot. Uh, see how it does, because you know everybody has the Shoei, everybody has the AGV, but you don't really see too many of these around. So let's go ahead and start with the unboxing. I gotta find my knife. Don't cut too deep. That cut was a little off. Okay, okay. So this is the bottom of the box. Ah, nice. So I'm gonna scoot this over. Bam. Anything in here? No. Alright. <sighs> yes, sir. There we go. X Light Performance Helmets, baby. SBK Official Helmet. Moto GP Official Helmet, bro. This thing is nice. Real Champion, baby. I like this box, though. It's like an Xbox box or something. Open here. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Oh, look at this. I'm gonna take this out. Yeah. Throw it to the side. What's this? Now right, we got some little pieces here. So one of these, I think this is the. Um, this is the. Um, this is another. What's it called? Um spoiler for the helmet because the helmet has a spoiler on it but this is for if the, if you think the spoiler is too big or too much this is a smaller version of the spoiler which i will definitely not be needing because uh i love spoilers on helmets um uh, what else we got anti fog pin lock i've never had one of these or never used one of these so it's supposed to be like one of those fog things uh, keep your visor from fogging up, so that should be pretty cool. I think you would mostly need these during the winter time. It's going to be su summertime. What else we got? Cleaning solution, always nice. I have so many of those, and we have. Uh, they come. This helmet comes with a, uh, a extra visor, so it comes with the the clear visor on it, and then they give you a green visor, but. They call it green, but it's actually their dark visor. So black, basically. I'm gonna throw that to the side, cause that's going straight on the helmet. You guys know I don't do vi clear visors at all. Holy crap. The heck is this? This thing is light as heck. Holy crap. Is this it? All right, all to the side. Ah, look at that guys, look at this. Y'all, this thing is scary light. All right. Let's get to it. All right. So, we have the helmet right here. We're going to go ahead and undo this. Ooh, I got to stand back up and get y'all in front of the camera of this. All right. You guys ready? Holy crap. 
Dude, this is a bad helmet, bro. Oh my goodness. Holy crap. Okay, let's uh go back to the point of view camera, shall we? Uh. Holy crap, bro. This thing is clean, bro. Made in Nolan Group. Bryn Brake Di Supra, Italy. I'm not sure if I said that right. So, guys, this is the X Light X803 RS Ultra Carbon. This is all carbon fiber. This thing is beautiful, bro. These are the helmets um, that they use in MotoGP. Um, I think it's more of the super bike that you see these in um, more than MotoGP. But this helmet is light, guys. Like, it's light, bro. It's light as heck. Okay, there it goes. Okay. Dude, I, this helmet is beautiful. Oh, my goodness. This thing is... This, this right here, this whole little thing they got going on, it's just pure sexiness. If I could buy this... It, and red i would oh my goodness i can't wait to see how this thing feels um i'm actually wearing my rear rock right now so you guys can get the point of view but if i could bro i would sit these two side by side which i still might do i will sit these two side by side and show you guys the difference and how sexy this helmet is i wish i can show you guys how light but i don't have a scale with me but I think, think I did see it on here. Okay, so right here, it says weight. This helmet is 1490 uh, GR. And I think that comes to uh, two, maybe 2.6, 2.8 um, pounds in US. So it's, it's like, it's only, so if it comes 2.6 to 2.8 pounds, that's how much this helmet weighs. Um, I did look it up. Um, I will put the comparisons on the screen between this helmet, my Rubok that I'm wearing now, and then my AGV K1. I'll put each one up on the screen with their weights. That way you guys can get a, a good comparison of how much this helmet weighs and how it is compared to, you know, your other your other helmets. I might go ahead and throw up like a, um, a HJC helmet up there too just to give you like a, you know, top variety. And I'll probably throw the showies up there as well. But dude, this helmet is so clean, bro. Oh my goodness. It's so light, bro. Now, I did notice that I will be going back because if you guys don't know, the robot helmets have the quick release and quick snap um, buckle to where all you do is just really just touch them and they snap together and hold. And then to undo it, you just pull it and it just comes undone. But this looks like it goes back to the old school. Um, whoops. It goes back to the old school, you know, whole strap setup. Oh. Oh, they give you another nose guard, which is cool. This. This one looks a little taller. I'm guessing one is for winter time, maybe. I like this, how they got the X light on the sides. That's dope. Green interior, bro. Holy crap, bro. This is this is going to be nice, y'all. Oh, my God, bro. I can't wait, bro. Oh, hold on. Yeah, bro. That. Look at that. What is this? Liner positioning control. You can control your liner? What? I'm confused. I'm going to look that up. So this thing is clean bro I like that nothing nothing feels like super cheap or easy to break everything feels really good why would you want to take this off I have no idea the only reason I would want to take this off is to change the color if we could but holy crap this is almost about as easy as uh, the Ruwak, like the, since every helmet I have, the Ruwak is probably the easiest helmet I've had to change with the visors. 
with this one it's a little bit the same <clears throat> with the rear rod you know you just it's like a little pin on both sides you just screw it up take it out screw up take it out and then the visor just comes off and you put your next one on just screw that little cap back in and screw the cap back in this one um, you gotta lift it all the way up once you lift it up you press this little X and you feel it come off Hold on. there you go you feel it come off like that same thing with the other side press it and boom that's it it's off and then ugh, I hate the way helmets look without a visor take your other helmet I mean your other visor go ahead and put this bad boy on oh dang he didn't come with a like a little protector thing so it's kind of naked huh alright so with this one you line your prongs up back up with everything we'll do this side first bear with me guys bear with me Oops. Okay, okay. Wait. I think that one's uh, pretty good. It's hard to see on this thing. But I can tell you this, it is definitely not as easy as the root rock. Because you can't see the little prong. Maybe like over time it'd become like a little easier. But as of right now, no sir. Yeah, it just comes out. Hmm. Look at there. Make sure it works. I'm trying to go out for a first ride and it blows off. I'm gonna have to wait some weeks to get a replacement, bro. Oh my god, y'all. Look at this thing. Oh my goodness. Oh. Now, like I said, I was gonna go with the uh with the the Shoei X14 was what I was originally going with because they have the all black helmet, of course, and they have like a red orange visor that you can get, which you guys know I like red visors or red period. So I think red would look good on this helmet, all black with the red accents and then a red visor. I think they would look dope, but they only have green, which is like I said, this is their green is actually dark they have uh iridium uh they have chrome i think they have a gold shield but they don't have like multi-color so that's the only thing which is it's not a problem because the good as this helmet look you know that that wouldn't be something that would keep me as you can tell from buying it and i like it also because it doesn't have it, well I, I can see a little bit of it since it doesn't you know keep your fingerprints in the helmet but bro this thing is gorgeous it's light very light that is this is it's a dope helmet all right guys so this is the helmets side by side this is this one i actually feel like i could have went up one more size um all my helmets that i have are all extra larges this helmet is an extra large my AGV is the XLR, my icons are all extra largest. Um, and they all fit well, right? I still have a little wiggle room, but they all fit well. This one, not 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 so much. So it's an XLR too. 
but like I said, it does have a tighter feeling to it. But I'm thinking that is just because it's a brand new helmet. Uh, the padding in the helmet is fresh, it's new. So everything is super tight. But again, like with the weight thing, bro. This, dude, this Ruroc. See, the Ruroc was probably like one of my lightest helmets that I've had besides my AGB. But I think even compared to my AGB, the Ruroc was pretty, pretty comparable to the AGB. But holding my Ruroc to this helmet, huge difference. Like, very huge difference. Like, like, this feels like I'm holding like a child's helmet or something versus this one is like, like I'm holding, I don't know. It just feels so much heavier than this one. When before I got this one, this one was like one of my lightest helmets. Now, keep in mind, I don't really have anything on this helmet. Um, I don't have anything on this helmet. And this was what I was talking about with the whole uh, quick, quick release or quick snap. With this one, uh, you got where is it? You got this little piece right here. It's like a little magnet. And you got this little piece, and it literally just it just snaps together, just like that. And to unrelease it, you just pull it. But other than that, you just snap it, and it's on there. Whether this one, like I said, it goes back to the old fashioned or the original you know, tying it up and whatever. But it still has the emergency release right here for the pads, you know, just in case you go down or, you know, something happens, you can always pull that and then a quick release. I will be setting this helmet up for vlogging, of course. Um, if you guys are interested in see how I set this up for vlogging, uh, and when I say set it up, I mean set it completely up like, um, buying the chin mount for this, um, getting the microphone planted on here, hooking the microphone up, putting the microphone inside the helmet. If you guys want to see all that, you know, just let me know in the comments. Like, hey, you want to see the whole setup of the helmet? This helmet's getting all new stuff. I'm not taking none of this stuff off to put it on here. The only thing that would take off from this helmet would be the camera, but this helmet would keep the same setup. So it, I am retiring it. It's gonna go in the closet just like this in the bag. I'm keeping all this stuff, microphone, everything inside. So if I ever need a backup helmet, this one gets damaged or something, I always have old faithful to rely on. Quick plug, shout out, shout out to my boy Shavito Robles. I think I said his last name not right. I think I did, but shout out to my boy Shavito. He has one of these helmets. Uh he was the first one that caught my attention with this helmet. He has one that matched his R1. Um pretty sure you guys seen his bike his bike has been all over facebook instagram everywhere his, his r1 was a pretty popular bike um and he had a helmet to match and it was so clean and um i, I talked to him about the helmet he's like he loved it he's put a couple more people on to the same helmet so so again shout out to savito uh, the helmet was not much it didn't take too long to get here at all uh, I think it's like four hundred, five hundred dollars for this helmet. Rather, this I think I can't remember what the rebar was, but if I can remember, I put it up on the screen. Um, but it did not take long. I think I ordered it last week sometime, and it got here this week, so it did not take a long time at all. So, and it came from overseas. Um, so yeah, it, it it was it was good. Like I said, you guys, nothing on this helmet feels cheap. The visor doesn't feel cheap at all. The vent openings and closing the, does not feel cheap. When I put the helmet on, it didn't feel cheap. Like this, this is a good. Yeah, I'm talking about some good. This is some good quality. Like helmet. I can't wait to race in it. Can't wait to actually wear it, put it on, and go out and ride with it. But. I'm excited. I won't, I won't probably film this helmet until the reveal of Raven. I said it in a previous video, Raven is going through another phase right now. 
She's going through her 2.0 phase. Uh, can't wait for you guys to see that. Like I said, I do have a reveal video coming out that I want to do for that, for the, for the bike, for the 2.0 reveal. So you guys stay tuned because this helmet will be in it. Um, this helmet will be in it too, but that would be the last time you guys see or I will use this helmet. So at the reveal, after the reveal, any video that I put out will most likely be with this helmet. So yeah. hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys got any questions or anything, you know, let me know down in the comments. And I will see you guys in another video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.